Hello and welcome. This video segment covers an overview about layers within CATIA v5. You will learn how to move an object to a different layer, how to change the active layer, and how to create a new named layer. So let's get started. Using layers to organize geometry makes it easier to find particular items. CATIA is different from most CAST systems in that the use of layers is optional. You can get away with not using layers on relatively simple models. But once a model becomes more complex, layers become important. If the Graphic Properties toolbar is not visible, select View, Toolbars, Graphic Properties to display it. The active layer is the layer on which new objects exist when you create them. You can change the active layer using the layer list on the Graphic Properties toolbar. By default, the active layer is none, which means the objects you create do not go onto any layer. In this case, the only way to make something invisible is to use the hide command. CATIA designates layer 0 as the general layer, and layer 1 as basic geometry. Beyond that, you have layers 2 to 999 available to you. The layer list only shows the first few layers, along with any others you have used. To select a layer that does not display on the list, you can type in the number and press enter, or select other layers to display the named layers dialog. The named layers dialog lets you control which layers display on the list in the graphic properties toolbar and in the properties dialog. This dialog also lets you assign names to different layers. The layers visible in the list are the same layers visible elsewhere in CATIA when you have the opportunity to choose a layer. Managing layers, operation number one, creating a new named layer. On the graphic properties toolbar, select other layers in the layer list to display the named layers dialog. Click new to add a new layer number to the list. To rename the layer, select it in the list and then click again on the name. Enter a new name and press enter to accept it. To change the layer number, select it in the list and then click again on the number. Enter a new number and press enter to accept it. Delete removes the selected layer name from the list. This does not actually delete the layer or the geometry on it. It just prevents the layer name from showing up in layer lists. Remember that you cannot delete the active layer. Click OK to close the dialog. Operation number 2. Moving an object to a layer using the properties dialog. In the specification tree, pick the object you want to move. Right click and select the properties from the pop-up menu to display the properties dialog. Select the graphic tab to display the graphics options. Select a new layer from the layer list, or type in a layer number and press enter. Click OK to move the object to the new layer. Operation number 3. Moving an object to a layer using the graphic properties toolbar. In the specification tree, pick the object you want to modify. On the graphic properties toolbar, select a new layer from the layer list, or type in a layer number and press enter. Operation number 4. Changing the active layer. With no object selected, select a new layer from the layer list on the graphic properties toolbar. Or type in a layer number and press enter. CATIA puts any new objects you create on this layer. Visualization filters. Once you move geometry onto different layers, the only way to control which layers are visible is to create a visualization filter. To display the Visualization Filters dialog, select Tools, Visualization Filters. Or, you can customize the Graphic Properties toolbar by adding Visualization Filters command to it as following. Go to Tools Customize. In the Customize dialog, select Toolbars. Select the Graphic Properties. Click Add Commands. Scroll down and select Visualization Filters command. Click OK. Click Close. 
On the Graphic Properties toolbar, check the Visualization Filters checkbox to display the Visualization Filters dialog. This dialog allows you to create, delete, or edit filters, as well as apply them to the part. To explain the use of Visualization Filters, let us consider the model shown on the screen. On the Graphic Properties, select Other Layers in the Layer List to display the Named Layers dialog. Click New to create Layer 2. Click New again to create Layer 3 and Layer 4. Click OK to close the dialog. Now move Pad 2 to Layer 2, Pad 3 to Layer 3, and Pad 1 to Layer 4. Activate Visualization Filters dialog. Click New to create Visualization Filter. From the drop-down list, select Layer 2 to create Filter and click OK. Repeat this process to create two more filters for Layers 3 and 4. In the Visualization Filters dialog, select Layer 2 filter and click Apply. You will notice that only Layer 2 content will be displayed on the screen. Select Layer 3 filter and click Apply. That completes this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.